Hey guys, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. And uh, today I want to talk about kind of the journey of a pistol shooter. Uh, I've been thinking about this a lot recently, and uh, I think it I think it's it's worth discussing. I was thinking about my own personal growth and development as a shooter, and, and I was thinking about if someone is starting from ground zero, right? They're just starting from ground zero, and they want to go all the way to IDPA Grand Champion, Grandmaster, whatever, right? Just hypothetically, okay? What what are the steps or the things they should major on and work on as they move up the, the shooting proficiency ladder, right? And so this is, I think, probably not a lot of people agree with me, so I'm curious to hear if you have feedback, but here's what I'm thinking. Uh, first thing you need to do is you need to learn the basics, right? Because all shooting is the basics. That's all it is. Uh, so you need to know how to draw your gun. You need to know how to sight trigger press, sight alignment, sight picture. Uh, you need to know the, how to basically load your gun, right, in an overhand rack, and you need to know how to clear malfunctions, and all the, the basics of manipulating and shooting a pistol, right? Pistol handling, how I hold it, how I shoot it, where I point when I'm not shooting it, holstering, unholstering, malfunctions, reloading, etc. And marksmanship, being able to put the sights on target and uh, hit what I want to hit when I want to hit it, right? Two, two camps of, of shooting. So you need to know all that. You need to know the basics. You need to know how to do that. Then, after you have that down to some degree, it doesn't even necessarily need to be automatic yet, but, but as you are work, because that, that takes time, as you're working towards making all those things automatic, so gun's empty, boom, it gets reloaded. You don't, you don't think about it, it just happens, right? Um, the next thing that I think you need to work on is speed. I think you need to be able to do that quickly. Uh, and, and I'm talking about five, seven yards and in, and being able to do that at speed, at a, at a reasonable speed. And what I mean is like, be able to do a concealed draw in two seconds or under, preferably around one five, right? You need to be able to do that quickly. And the reason is, here's, here's my thought process behind that. I'm working from the most likely self-defense encounter you'll have to the least likely self-defense encounter you have. Most likely, uh, your defensive encounter will be from zero to seven yards, you know, three shots, three yards, three seconds. We've all heard that. Uh, which, by the way, that, that's questionable about how good that is because that got pulled from uh, police shooting statistics and not necessarily civilian shooting statistics. So that, that's uh, questionable. But but point is, is I still think it's going to be close, right? Because if someone's going to rob you or whatever, uh, they're going to need to get close to you in order to do that. So it's going to be a closer encounter. And the thing that you're going to be able to need to do is get your gun out quickly, quickly because you, you have less distance, which means less time in order to access that weapon and get it on target. Uh, and then you're going to need to fire quickly because again, less distance, less time. And if someone wants to intentionally close that distance with you, uh, you might not have time to get very many shots off before they're on top of you, a determined attacker, right? Uh, so given that, I think that the first thing you need to get good at is getting the gun out quickly and getting shots on target quickly. And when I say on target, I'm talking like B or C zone here, okay? Like anything below the collarbone and above the waist and between the shoulders. Like, I'm, I'm not talking like A zone hits. Is that what we want? Yes, okay, we, we want a tight group right here, right? We, we want those A zone hits, sure, absolutely. But. If when, again, we're, grow, we're growing in our skill set here, and I'd rather you quickly be able to get combat effective hits, because if you shoot a guy here and here and in the belly button and over here, is that combat effective? Uh, yeah, I mean, is that going to have some effect on the guy? Yes, I would not want to get shot in any of those places, right? And that might be enough to save your life. Uh, do we want them all right here? Sure, yeah. But we'll take what we can get, right? So again, as you're grow, growing in the journey, right? The goal is to hit them all right here, but again, we're growing. So that's the first thing I think you should work on, is being able to get that gun out quickly, five to seven yards, get some hits in the C zone here, and uh, and be able to do that at speed, right? So, you know, again, first shot, two seconds, one five, being able to get maybe four or five shots out, you know, get a build drill, like, like three, four seconds, something like that, something reasonable, achievable, but, but being able to get shots on target quickly. So from there, I think you should be able to get the, just then you're gonna start tighten those groups up, right? Then we're gonna call for that 
that high thoracic hit, just that eight inch circle or those A zone hits or, or whatever, you know. We're just, we're just gonna go for the, oc the cranial ocular bolt. Uh, the, then we're gonna start to tighten those groups up, right? Be able to do a Mozambique and get two to the A and one, one to the A zone. Like, then we wanna start to have those more precise. And again, so we went from speed, now we're taking that speed and we're making those precise hits at speed. Again, still at that five to seven distance mark. Most likely to least likely, remember. From there, we're gonna open our distance up. From, we're gonna go to that 10 to 50 yards, right? 50 yards is kind of my maximum pistol distance, right? Uh, a good pistol shooter should be able to hit what they want at 50 yards. Beyond that, uh, we get questionable and we get into Superman territory. You can take a pistol beyond 50 yards, okay? It's just uh, usually not done and, and your hits are gonna be much less effective, velocity's gonna die down, etc., etc., etc. Point is, kind of 10 to 50, right? Then we want to start to back those shots up. So we learned how to go fast, learned how to go fast and precise at short range distance, seven and under. Now we want to start to push it back. We want to start to go to that, that 10 and that 15, and that 20 and that 25 and that 50 and, and be able to effectively get our pistol hits uh, at distance. We're not at speed at distance, just at distance. Can you, hitting a, an eight inch circle with a, a string of five to 10 rounds at 10 yards, it gets harder than you thought, right? Especially when you get 10 rounds, like that recoil starts to wear on you. Uh, so, after you're able to do that, and after you're able to start to get those shots at distance, now you wanna be able to get those shots at distance in time, right? So, the way I picture it is speed in the beginning, precision and, and distance in the middle, speed at the end, right? So that's what we're doing. Those are our building blocks. Speed up close, precision up close, and then distance, and then being able to do the, the longer range stuff at speed, right? So I think you should be able to get uh, a shot on an eight inch steel plate or eight inch circle on a paper at 25 yards in two seconds or less. I think you should be able to do that repeatedly, right? You need to be able to hone those skills. Because when you can do that at distance, now you're starting to get somewhere. Now you're starting to be a really um, proficient and an elite uh, gunfighter, pistol champion, pick your word. You're starting to get good. And that's, that's what I want for you. And to get there, right, all you're doing is you're building on those basics that you learned at the beginning. You're learning to do them quickly, you're learning to do them precisely, then you're learning to do them quickly while doing them precisely, right? Like that's that's what we're building there. And so that's that's how I think the journey should go because again, most likely to least likely, most likely it's up close and you gotta get those shots out. Least likely, you gotta take a shot at 35 yards and you need to, you got, you got a small margin of error, right? Like, uh, just not likely. I haven't heard of any uh, civilian defensive shooting at taking place at 35 yards or 25 yards or 15 yards. Uh, what's the longest distance in your house? Okay, if you can hit inside that at speed at distance, that's a really good place to start, okay? Um, Cause out in the real world, if you got 10 or 15 yards between you and a bad guy, you're gonna have a lot of other options other than shooting them. Now, hey, you might have to, again, so we need a proficiency, right? But, is that likely? And I just don't think it is. So, that's kind of my thought on how to grow in your pistol journey. Would be curious uh, what your thoughts are on that because I think I'm going against what a lot of people would say because I think a lot of us tend, to, especially if you're just a plinker, right? If you're just a casual shooter, you come out and, and you just want to be able to hit stuff and you put the target out there far and you just take your time and try to hit it, which is fine as a hobby, but in the defensive shooting, practical defensive shooting world, I just don't know how much value that is if it's not under a time. I'm a big fan of the shot clock, right? Shot clock doesn't lie. Uh, so I'm a big, big fan of that. And then after you do that stuff, then you can start working on your subpar, sub second draws and, and all the fun fancy stuff, right? I can do a sub second draw. It's fun. Um, not entirely sure how much practical value that has at this point yet. Um, no, just, just not sure yet. So, do brave deeds. Learn how to shoot your gun. Come see me if you're confused about that. And endure.